So my question is that uh, actually you uh, you would like to convince us that uh, what you observe is that this gas around the galaxy is falling down, not not falling, right? But you you don't see uh, there indications that uh, observational tests to, con uh, to confirm this this gas is really falling down. Mm -hmm. So I will explain more that is the front of uh, is 24 or 3. That is uh, there you have seen really some well not, not a downwards motion, but an inwards motion. No, uh, but you're right. At the moment I cannot say uh, whether whether this is this is really uh, yeah, but you leaving uh, how you can uh, you, you said that you, you see some traces of falling down. How you can distinguish falling down motions and all falling motions. How you can distinguish the you observe on the the velocity field, the uh, the velocity the, the width of the of the line in say twenty one centimeters, right? Well okay and for those uh, high velocity clouds uh, this this will be a very difficult thing to say. But if you if you have a look at those uh, let's say smoother halos, in principle they, they are also quite clumpy. What you can do is, um, in principle, search for the kinema kinematic uh, signature of an inwards or even also downwards motion that is at the moment uh, included also in the terrific software. So in principle you can hope to, to model exact, exactly or trace exactly an inwards motion. In Japan, if you know the orientation of the galaxy, if you can find out, uh, say, spiral arms, then you can distinguish an inwards or downwards motion from uh, a particular selection criteria for your sample, like basically inclination. Yeah, yeah, inclination was sort of where I know that quite quickly. So, um, uh, to be able to make a kinematic analysis, uh, what is what is very good is, is to have an atom galaxy like this in the eight nine one, or moderately inclined, say between fifty and seventy five, and that was under the bias. Sorry, yeah, bias. So was being relatively uh, highly inclined. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that, that your sample is, is specifically selected to be mostly as much atron as you could. No, 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 no. There, is, there is a group of atron galaxies and a group of what are that being inclined, inclined ones. About these belts, they occur within the raising part of the rotation curve. I wonder if some part could be due to the bar. Not most of the motion. Because it's strange that they don't are uh, not seen all the rotation curve. I don't think that they are in the signature of the bars, so uh, this, this is also quite well distinguishable. Um, This is an observation that I haven't been talking about. And the halo can be traced, traced over this, this flat part, but the rotation of this halo component, the gaseous halo component, or assumed gaseous halo component, is much, has a much shallower rise, which may have given that impression. But it is, it is in principle, here this is the rate of 15 km per second. I was thinking of the longitude, the velocity diagram, the plots. Where you see a uh, straight path, uh, yeah, you see. Path, and this occurs about in this region. Okay. Let's see. No, but they don't, basically. No, no. This, this, this would be the horizon part. Yes, because the uh, so bar would influence this region. Not, I would expect if you have a halo like that, also, to have known circular motion. 
the visible gas so Yeah. Different galaxies uh, show a different picture, of course. Uh, and uh, can you uh, separate, uh, uh, with some degree of uncertainty, of course, uh, the cases where uh, uh, there is a really uh, outer accretion, accretion and uh, galactic found lines? No, not yet. I said uh, that it will require really detailed analysis. Also, taking into account that each galaxy has its, uh, its, its own characteristics, you need to look at the, to have a really detailed look on the galaxies. You need to do kinematic models like uh, Philippe did for this one. Not yet. 